guys. Back with another one. Well, this one, we're going to do two up, two single barrels. Pretty much bagged up, so I'm going to do them at the same time. I usually do this method when I'm bagged up. Let's get it. Oh, this Jack-Jack, too. Jack been around since my first grill. So he pretty much know the, know the routine. He see them sparks, or he see that flare, he get out the way. Been like that since he was little. But right here, it's just my hinges. That's how I started off. Pretty much, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get into a little more detail on this one, on this video. Show you how I do them. So I just, once I get that, uh, my 3A, it's a 3A circle rod, and I use my pencil rod, and I bend it in the vise. So right here, we just making my cut. I already had my cut up top, so it was already cut. So I just, and this right here, this when Jack knocked my cord out of my ground. <laughs> Man, he always doing something. Back to it though. So I cut the sides off using that little pop string. Man, I'm telling you, that pop string saved my life. Because <laughs> I was doing it crazy as hell at first, holding up the. Uh, I forgot what I was doing, but it was crazy. <laughs> but on the sides, I was using like a, a, a bendable tape like a tape for for like clothes, measure clothes, and that's how I really was doing it. But it was off track every time my cuts would be crazy. I've been using the string every time. It worked like a charm too. Once I get the door cut, I try to split it up. So I cut this door, then cut that door, put that door on, and you know, do it like an assembly line. Got to remember, we're doing two at a time, so. But you want to work with a pace. So right here is just my angle. I use a two-inch angle. Put it on the back, right behind the hinge. So that when the door closes, it'll sit flush right against it, and it won't get that, that wobble. So it'll sit back on the door. It'll sit back and hold still. And another thing once I put the weight on from the handle, the wind won't close it. Like I leave my door open and the wind will blow real hard, but it won't slam shut. So I right hear we just putting on my lips around it. It's a little thin, thin metal that go around the lips. It's probably about the same thickness as the barrel itself, honestly. And you just, I use clamps, vice clamps, vice grips, whatever you want to call it. Grind off that little, that sharp outline. There's always a sharp outline. Once you cut on them doors, you just want to grind that down. You don't want nobody cutting themselves. I try to do that first, because if I don't, then I forget it. <laughs> so right here, we just holding the door up. Put a little brace on the inside so it'll hold the door open for me. And I put the lips on. So I put the two side lips on. I put the front one on right here. Actually, show that one. You start in the middle, right there in that little hump. That's where you want to start it and work your way down and then work your way back across. So you'll, you'll start on the little hump in the middle. Once you start on that hump, you'll go left, then go right, and weld it on down. The same way, start in that hump, once you get the hump, brace down, get everything flush, and you put the vise on the other side. 
that clamp it down and you just put a little tack weld on it for right now just to sort of stay in place. My hair was just cutting it off. I cut my corners because they, they too damn sharp to leave for anybody. So I just cut it and round it off. And boom, that's how your door sit flush. Door number two, let's get it. Same way with my little pop string, man. I love that pop string. Can't tell me nothing about the pop string, baby. But yeah, we gonna bust open a new, new grinder. Put them lips on ASAP. Got both sets on. Now we're gonna put the racks in. So right here, you just wanna level it straight to the back. Make sure your level sitting in the middle. Make two marks. At the bottom though, you wanna mark them at the bottom because you want it to sit flush with the door. So you'll put two, um, I put two on the bottom and two up top. Right, but you still you still can weld them to the barrel itself, and we're gonna do the same thing on this one. It's like an assembly line, baby. What warehouse, huh? Nah, this is where I got that from. Know that assembly line, cause that's how it is working in the warehouses. So put them racks in, and this is almost a wrap, baby. I don't get my cuts for my expanded. I try to cut all my cuts and then I just weld them up all at one time. And I, I usually put my, I put the expanded on first and then I put a brace in the middle because sometimes your brace in the middle will expand it, just my little happy dance, everything fit. <laughs> but uh, sometimes if you put your brace, see I got that brace in the middle, if you put that on before you put the expanded on, it may push it out and then it won't fit the racks. It'll be wider than the racks or they have a gap in it. So I, just, I put the expanded on first and then I put the brace on the bottom. So we got these painted up. I had to cover the wheels up. As y'all see, Jack got my whole backyard muddy. We're going to paint this one blue. Dark navy blue. Hit it with that orange on the side. And the dark blue stencil. Chicago Bears. You can't see it by now. y'all think tell me what y'all think let me know something let me know customer love it see what the driver say appreciate y'all man like and subscribe <laughs> you want that call, back, man. <laughs> check me out